What is Tessa? Is it Tesla of wind turbines or SCAM? Why SCAM? Maybe because of headquarters in self-storage box? Maybe because of questionable policy about directors which are appointed and cut within few days after signing few documents? Suspicious, but not exactly illegal. But what if proof is in physics, in our reality? Let's check their offer. First, we've got TESAP Atlas X7 kilowatts, 168 kilowatt hours per day. Whoa! Vertical wind turbine. Okay, this turbine is available on Amazon, $2,200. And even lower price on their web page, it's £1,000, so means something like $1,200. Looks very powerful, 7 kilowatts, and looks very small. So maybe they bend in physics. Let's try to calculate independently power output of this turbine. Because, because wind power is not some kind of magic trick. It's well-known science. It's just kinetic energy of blowing wind, of moving air. So it depends only on two things. Like all kinetic energy, it's mass per velocity squared. How to calculate mass? of the air. We have to calculate volume of the air which goes through wind turbine and as we know it's like every cubic meter of the air is 1.23, 1.225 kilograms. If we will know the volume, we will know the mass. But the volume also depends on velocity which makes equation for the power of the wind like below. Half of air density, which is 1.23, times surface of the wind turbine, working surface of the wind turbine, times velocity, but to the third cubical velocity. And if we want to calculate this for this Atlas turbine, dimensions of this turbine are 790 millimeters, by 460 millimeters, which makes surface 0 0.36 square meter, which is less than all these cheapest Chinese wind turbines on Amazon, on Alibaba, everywhere. These turbines have got something like 1.1 square meter or more, and they are 500 watts. And this is 7 kilowatts. Okay, but let's calculate. Industry standard for the maximum power wind speed is 15 meters per second. And this is standard for small wind turbines as well as megawatt commercial wind turbines. So for us, let's cheat a little bit. Let's use 16 meters. Why 16? Because each square meter of surface on the speed of 16 meters per second we've got two and a half kilowatt of the power so if we have wind turbine which has one square meter surface maximum of the power of the wind which can then generate electricity for this turbine will be two point half kilowatts. As we can see, here we've got only 0 0.36 of square meter, which means that power of the wind, which is available for this turbine, is 900 watts only. Not 7 kilowatts, not 5 kilowatts, it's 908 watts. And why 16? You can say, oh, maybe they calculated this with much higher wind speed. First, 16 meters per second, it's 57 kilometers per hour. And this is quite unusual wind speed. This is 36 miles per hour. So quite fast wind. And the second thing is that 
efficiency of wind turbines going down after 16 meters per second wind and they going down very fast even with the state-of-art commercial wind turbines which were designed using millions of dollars and advanced computing so this is savonius type wind turbine in physics and in real life we using beds so we know that from this 900 watts which is available for the turbine turbine can produce some amount of electricity what amount the highest possible theoretical amount is 0 0.59 means 59 percent this is known as bets limit and no turbine on market now is reaching 50 percent 49 49 are the best of the best but this is true only for horizontal wind turbines this turbine is a savonius type wind turbine why this is important because with well modeled and well designed wind turbine you can have something like 42 45 percent of efficiency with with Savonius type wind turbine, you can have not more than 13% and real life performance about 9% efficiency, which means that this turbine can provide something like 100 to 130 watts of power, which means that whole day of very strong wind, like 60 kilometers per hour wind, this can make two and a half kilowatt hours three kilowatt hours of energy not 168 okay but maybe maybe this is for some special user case let's check other turbines they've got same turbine but with bigger blades let's give them benefit of a doubt and let's calculate for this turbine this is like this got one meter diameter one meter height and a little bit cut this which means that we can calculate surface because this is cut like circle and the surface of this turbine is 0 0.875 square meters let's use the same equation which we now know that each square meter receives at 16 meters per second wind receives 2.5 kilowatt of wind energy it doesn't produce this much energy it receives that much energy from the wind so this wind turbine receives 2.2 kilowatts of wind energy and if it would be the best ever humanly made wind turbine it would produce one kilowatt but again this is savonius type and even worse savonius type because in savonius wind turbines it's quite important height to diameter ratio the bigger the ratio the higher and thinner wind turbine the better is savonius this got one to one so this is much worse than previous one as efficiency so the best this can do is nine percent of this one kilowatt which means again 100 watts maximum okay but these were easy targets these were vertical wind turbines they are never good anyway maybe they've got magnum five kilowatts and 120 kilowatt hours every day maybe this one the price the price is not surprised the price is 2400 dollars and also on their web page is a little bit lower is it any better let's use the same knowledge we used for vertical ones first we need to calculate the surface they declare two meters 35 centimeters diameter it's a scam I know people who bought this turbine and the radius is smaller but let's use their data 
2.35 divided by 2 is 1175, which means the surface of the turbine is 4.3 meters square, which means we've got 10.8 kilowatts of wind energy. Yeah, good. But this wind turbine is Ista Breeze spin-off. Both companies are Turkish and both using the same inefficient blades. So even if the best turbines of this diameter could be about four and a half kilowatts, this turbine output is less than one kilowatt. You don't have to believe my word. You can read reviews on Trustpilot, also on Amazon, where there are customers' reviews. No one is satisfied because it cannot be. Chinese 2 kilowatt, very good wind turbines got 3.2 diameter. So you see the difference. We can also see that there are problems with delivery. There are problems with returns, which means that even TESAP is in TechCrunch base, it doesn't look like company which you can trust and products are really subpar. I wouldn't buy them. And with 20 years of experience with wind turbines, I really cannot recommend it to you. So what else can you choose? Watch next video.